Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on how to install one of the extension called Animate Diff for automatic web UI and also do a demo on that. You will need to update to the latest automatic web UI and then install the extension. So let's do that. Go to the extension tab, install from URL, and uh, go to the GitHub uh, wrapper to find uh, the URL. Go to the code, click uh, copy the address, and uh, copy paste that to the UI. Go to the install and check for update and then apply and quit. So after restarting the web UI, you will then find it already there. Yeah, you will see there is a new session called uh, Animated Diff. There are multiple parameters. Please do read carefully on the GitHub repo. Let's do a quick uh, testing. One go smiling. Let's move to the animated diff session and uh, click uh, to enable it. So important thing is about uh, the number of frames. You basically, you can set it uh, to any number you want because uh, of the wonderful sliding window attention, it's now allow unlimited uh, number of frames. Well, here is uh, it's doing the work, and this is the GPU monitoring. It seems it took about uh, 11 gigabytes of VRAM for my Sony 80 Ti, which is allowed. All right, we see the results. It's a very simple 16 frame GIF. And we see the goal is smiling beautifully. So the output will be generated uh, in the usual place. There is a new directory called uh, animate diff, which will store all your generated uh, results. Okay, so next let's uh, take a look at the image to image. We will use this one as an example. And uh, we go to the parameter, we set the height to 768. We also enter the positive prompt and the negative prompt. the animated diff section, enable it, and then choose the models. Others we leave it as the default. Okay, we will start the processing. Here is the 
GPU, we see that uh, the VRAM went up almost uh, like ninety-five uh, percent. We see that uh, the results showed up, although I think the hands is a little very weird. So we probably need to do another generating to to see. Let's uh, change it to smiling. All right, we see that uh, the final results looks much better. So next, let's look at uh, one of the newest uh, feature, the time travel. So this is uh, one from the GitHub uh, demonstration. So we will directly use that. So basically you can specify the time like zero two three five eight and specify what gonna look like during each of the time so when stable diffusion generating the image it will do a reference to the specification you specified at each time so it can get very creative All right, we can see the final results. It looks uh, quite like what we specified at each different uh, time location. 